Hello, Grade 5 Learners! How are you today? I hope you are doing great! Welcome to another day of learning opportunity. I am Teacher Carla, your facilitator for today's lesson. Our topic for today is all about the importance of practicing 5 Rs. But before that, let us look into the objectives of today's lesson. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to recognize the importance of reduce, reuse, recycle, repair, or recover in waste management. Design products out of recyclable, solid, or liquid materials to make useful products. To start a lesson, I have here an activity for you. Directions Write useful if the material serves a particular purpose or harmful if it brings damage to us or to the environment. Number one, empty bottles. Number two, fruit peelings. Number three, Bracket glass. Number four, emptied candy wrappers. Number five, expired medicines. When you hear this sound, stop writing and let's check your answer. Time starts now. Let's check your answers. Number one, the answer is useful. Number two, useful. Number three, the answer is harmful. Number four, the answer is useful. Number five, harmful. Let's have another activity. Directions. Observe carefully the pictures below, then answer the questions that follow. What can you say about the pictures? Yes, that's right. There are trashes, garbage, are not properly thrown. There is no proper waste management. What waste materials are commonly found? Okay, there are plastic bottles, papers, cans, and glasses. Are those materials found in your community too? Okay, yes. So what do you think are the effects of excessive reduction of waste materials in your community? That's right. It can cause land, air, and water pollution or may lead to our sickness. What can you do to decrease the volume of waste materials in your community? You're right. Yes, we can be using 5 R's on waste management. Wastes refer to use or consume products or materials. A very good example of this is garbage. Garbage emits foul odor and makes us sick. Waste management refers to the practice of proper waste disposal. A kind of waste management we follow nowadays is the 5 R's of waste management, which stands for reduce, reuse, recycle, repair, and recover. This aims to promote a clean and healthy environment. 
to transform garbage into something useful and to make the earth zero waste or free of any garbage or waste material. The following is the definition of each R. Reduce. It simply means reducing or lessening the amount of possible waste materials. For example, using big echo bag to carry many items as one instead of individually placing the items to a plastic bag. Next, reuse. It means to use again for the same purpose of the materials as much as possible. For example, using old hand-me-down clothes. Next one, recycle. It means processing waste materials to make another product. For example, making old newspapers into paper ornament. Next, repair. Repair is fixing or restoring broken items so that this will be used again. For example, repainting tables and chairs. The last one, recover. It means taking energy or materials from wastes to be converted into new resources. For example, making animal manure into fertilizer for plants. Remember, waste management is important for us and for the environment. This led to the conservation of natural sources and can save space in landfills. We can be profitable from it by selling recyclable and recycled materials. It also decreases the amount of waste for disposal, which thereby prevents the effects of pollution. Waste management is also important for public health. Managing waste is everyone's responsibility. We live in a beautiful world. It is our duty to protect, preserve, and conserve our environment. Start practicing the five R's now. Let's have another activity. Directions. Put a check mark if the statement shows an application of the five R's. Or a wrong mark if otherwise. Number one, Rachel wrapped the slice of cake in an aluminum foil and kept it in the fridge. Two, Mother wrote a short note for Paolo in a whole sheet of pan paper before going to the office. Three, Kathleen refuses to buy a new school bag because her bag is still usable. 4. Ruli cut his old pants with holes and made it into short pants. And 5. Mrs. Caranto brings shopping bag every time he shops. When you hear this sound, Stop writing and let's check your answers. Time starts now. Let's check your answers. Number one. Check. Number two. Wrong. Number three. Check. Number four. Check. And number five, check. Let's try another activity. Directions. Study the pictures of the common practices observed in our place. Which 
which are the following importance of the five R's is a direct result of the given practice. Choose the letter of the best answer. A. Promote a clean and healthy environment. B. Transform garbage into something useful. C. Make the earth zero waste or free of any garbage or waste material. Let's start. Number one. Chairs and tables from old car tires. What is the answer? It is letter B. Transform garbage into something useful. Number two. Trash bins for waste segregation. What letter? Yes, that's right. It's letter A. Promote a clean and healthy environment. Number three. Organize and make use of all the things. What is the answer? That's right. It's letter C. Make the earth zero waste or free of any garbage or waste material. And the last one, number four. Postal cleanup activity. What's the answer? Okay, it's letter A. Promote a clean and healthy environment. Great job, my dear learners! That's the end of my discussion. I hope you have learned something today. Thank you very much. See you next time!